when this got hit in this corner, it actually pushed the whole front end over. I had a small repair on a Honda Accord trunk lid here. Just this corner right here. I'm going to go ahead and work that back into shape and get this one fixed up. I have a Kia Optima here on the frame rack. This one got hit in this left front corner, right in this bumper reinforcement. So when this got hit in this corner, it actually pushed the whole front end over, which is called side sway. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go ahead and put this car, clamp this car down to the bench and I'll make some measurements and see exactly where everything is. And then I will have to pull this front end over and square it up where the frame rails are square, right where they're supposed to be. So they have measurements of where they want these clamps at, and you come off the center of the rear wheel, and this one's at 570 millimeters, and then the front one is at 2160. Gonna be right about. Now first, I have to go ahead and match our measuring system to the car so it knows where the vehicle is sitting. 
then I'll be able to go to the front end and measure those frame rails. So to do that, I go to five points in the center section of the vehicle, and that will match the vehicle to the system and it knows where the car is sitting. Now, I could come up to this front end and take some measurements and see how far off it is. So it looks like we're about 18 millimeters over, roughly. Different points are slightly different. So I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this old reinforcement bar on here and use that to pull off of. And then I'll make some pulls. Now I'm gonna do what we call a live pull. So I'm gonna sit this on the point underneath here and then I'll be able to watch it as I pull this out. Now you can see here, this is the width, and you can see I over pulled it by 26 millimeters. But when I release this, it's gonna flex back. And now we are almost perfect. The length is zeroed, the width is zeroed, and the height is only two, which is within tolerance. I'm gonna go over to this side though, and make sure it moved just as much as that side, because sometimes you have to pull them individually. That side's still off by about five millimeters, which isn't much. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these bolts out and I'm gonna reach directly over here and grab this and try to move it the last five millimeters. Now this side is within one millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this bar back off and I'm gonna check my other points, make sure they're good. And as long as those other points are good, then I know this, these frame rails are all squared up now. So I got this front end all fit together. The hood and fenders, everything's lining up very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and get it out of clamps and get it down off the frame rack. And I'll get this one over to our paint department.